Okay, in this uh, in this part, uh, I'm going to create a pipeline, uh, a data factory pipeline, and I will first create a link service, and then create a source data set based on the link service, and then create a pipeline. Uh, sorry, and then create the the this link service to the destination and create a create a destination data set and then create a pipeline. Uh, hopefully in this video I can create this uh, the whole thing so that um, we can run and test the pulling the data from the SQL Server database installed on my local machine and <coughs> uh, extract the data from uh, the product date table into a CSV file and store it on the Azure Data Lake. Okay, let's get started. Um, so let's go to the uh, Azure Data Lake factory, sorry, Azure Data Factory, and click on the other and monitor. And then it's being loaded. And then we click on the edit button over here. And so the first thing we got to do is to go to connections and look at the um, look at the integration runtimes that we just created. It's right here. It's, it's running. Uh, it's healthy. So now we click on link service. So uh, we're going to create a link service that connects to the SQL Server on my local machine. So because the SQL Server, so here we can search SQL Server and it's right over here and click on continue. And this is the, give it a name. So call it local SQL and select the integration runtime, which is this one that we just created and the server name. Server name is, uh, I believe it's local. Um, and then the database name is, I think the, ser uh, the server name, it should be my server name, which is, sorry, my computer, sorry. My computer, right click, which is a flu service, a flu surface, and the database name is uh, Adventure Works. Adventure Works. Uh, it's supposed to be SQL authentication and test connection. So yeah, connection <coughs> successfully. Connection successful, and so I click on finish. Now it's creating in Azure, and it's created local SQL. With this one. Uh, next thing is to create a um, create a source data set. So we are going to create a source data set by going over here and say add a data set. And uh, we call it and and we are we're we're pulling from from SQL, right? From SQL Server, continue, and we call it uh, SQL. Call it local SQL. Call it a source data set and a score local SQL, and the link service is local SQL, and um, we don't import a schema, click on continue. And so let's double check. So it's locals, its connection is local SQL. Everything is fine. We're not specifying any parameters for now. And uh, 
and we're good. So we have the link service, which is local SQL, and we have the source data set, which is this one. And we are going to create a destination data set uh, by going over here and add a data set. So, uh, and the data store is uh, Azure Data Lake Generation 2. Click on this, and we're going to create a delimited, delimited text. I'm going to create a CSV file, and uh, we call it uh, Destination Data Set. Uh, Data Lake CSV in Data Lake well, CSV Data Lake and the link service is the Data Data Lake storage. So I'll show you the Data Lake storage link service later. We didn't create it, it was because it was already created. So uh, and here we are we can browse the uh the folder structure in here but i'm i'm not gonna drill down i'm just going to use uh use root and uh and then we're okay so so now we have this and we can go over here and look at this uh, connection thing um, it's comma separated and the coding is right and everything looks fine we need the first row has header as header and uh, we're good over here as well so let's look at the connections look at the data data storage Data Lake storage. This, sorry, this. Yeah, so we already have the uh, Azure Data Lake set up. Uh, the link service, we already have the link service set up. So uh, it uses the auto resolving integration runtime to uh, connect to Azure Data Lake. And we already have the, uh, the credentials entered here. So um, I'm skipping the part of creation, the link service to Azure Data Lake. Um, okay, so now let's add a new pipeline. Let's call it copy product from local SQL to uh, data lake. And we move this copy data action over here and go to source and select the local SQL data uh, source data set. And um, we can see that we can't see the table. That's because uh, in the source data set, we didn't select the table. So, but we, we know what the table is by going to our SQL server. And if we are importing this, right? So we can, we can use this. We can use this. And uh, we can use this. Uh, we can preview the data. Yeah, that is fine. And go to sync, which connects to the destination data set, which is here. And we can also increase this if we want. And the file extension is CSV. And let's also go to the um, the, the, the destination data set here to make sure our 
file name is populated. So we should call it um, localsql.csv. So we set up everything and and we can double check everything. We can go from the source data set, make sure the connection is fine. It connects to the local SQL. And then we look at the, the pipeline that it, look at, sorry, we look at the action here and we know that it's pulling from uh, the production table, so our product table um, into the data lake as a CSV file. And then we check the destination data set, um, which we can look at it and we put it in the root folder and call it local CSV. And it's a comma separated file and uh, it has a header and everything looks looks fine. So so now we can um, we can give it a test. we we'll go to file system root. For now, it looks like this. And uh, later, there should be a local CSV, I believe. That's what we call it. So let's run the debug. OK, succeeded. So we can go to the storage deployer. Uh, it's not displayed right away. We have to go to the go here and should do this and here we go we have the csv file we can download it and look at it so open it and we have let's check how many rows we got We have 500, 500 file five because the first one, the first row is a header. So it's 504. And if we do the selection from a database, we can see there are 504 rows. So everything looks right. So that's uh, the end of this part.